Previously on Davros and Caverns, we woke up after the battle with Eddiar and found a group of orcs surrounding the party. They demanded we all surrender and come with them. Of course we did not listen and gave them a savage beating. Rogar cut one in half and cutting both arms off another. After we took out the thrash, we made them tell us where their camp was and who was in charge. We found out that their war chief was working with the Skull Reaver, but they did not know what kind of deals was going on other than trading people for the goods. We ended up sparing a couple of orcs and decided to move our camp before seeking a settlement to help flee the captives. Episode 18, Orcish Encampment. So last time on Taverns and Caverns, we left off after Cat and Co. were attacked by a bandit of, or a bandit, a group of orcs that were asking or demanding that Cat and Co. surrender to them. And the team decided to whoop ass, and they did so. And they also found out where the orcs' encampment was, which potentially has all the people that went missing at the tavern, um, where they might be located. And you guys kicked off the other two orcs that you kidnapped and told them to scram, which they did. And we're going to pick up where we left off, and you guys were deciding on moving to a different location because you were afraid of additional orcs coming looking for their buddies so you guys are moving your camp it's five in the morning so we'll go and start there so what do you guys do did anyone else get messed up or what's it well yeah, we're about I'm, to fight some big shit right i'm at 26 hp so like if you guys want to set up and go back to bed i'm not gonna fight you on it i feel like we need at least like a nap probably set up more traps yeah <laughs> we definitely need more traps but should we move? Yes, we should move. Definitely. We just beat someone up and interrogated them in a spot. Rogar is going to speak up. Well, we just beat up two orcs and killed the rest. We should probably get moving. They're friends, or as I said last time, their homies might show up looking for them. But we now know they are up north in a camp, they said, right? So we should go towards the camp, maybe, but maybe not so directly. Be a little sneaky, you know? You think he can do it? What, heal us? Be do sneaky? Like oh, be <laughs> sneaky? No, no, he can't do it. Eddie takes a step, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> I don't think I can be sneaky. Hush, puppy. Okay. Hush, hush puppy. I am the master of sneak on this team. You know how many times I went to the bar? My wife never knew. She woke up. Ask me how I slept. Uh, Elroy speaks up. Uh, guys, we should probably get going, though. They might come back pretty soon. We should just gotta at least go rest somewhere else, right? Before we go attacking more orcs. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Damien jumps in the back. All right, small. Let's go. Oh, we don't have the wagon, bro. Really? Yeah, we left it because it couldn't go through the... Oh, thing, shit. Okay? That's right. The horse is too dense. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have the wagon. You, uh, you guys well, left it. Guess we're uh, boot scooting. Okay, so are you guys going to look for another spot to camp for a few hours, or what, what's the team doing? Yeah, I think we should find somewhere in Are you guys, like, okay on HP? Am I the only one that got I'm hurt? Fine. I have 26, but I'd like to have more. Yeah, I mean, I have 28 out of 36, so I'm not, like, fucked. But I feel like we're about to fight some big shit. Well, yeah, we're confronting them. I think it would be foolish to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Gimped? Knowingly yeah. unprepared, right? All right. Yeah. We had the power that's to change. I mean, I have face. a potion I could use, but if you no, nah, that's need like it emergency. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. Yeah. So let's find like a place like a little bit maybe further off the road or something, a little bit further from here. Yeah. I mean, you guys aren't like on a main road right now. So well, yeah. You, okay. You well, off wherever. the path. Yeah. Hey, little guy, you travel a lot. Where do we go? Elroy looks around. Mm. Dude, ask Nomu. Nomu's the one with the fucking traps and shit. <laughs> he knew what was up. Well, Elroy looks around. Well, um, well, they came from the north directly. So maybe if we go north and then go east or west a little bit, maybe we can see if Nomu can track their prints on the ground or something and avoid the area where they came from, possibly. Do a nature roll. Yeah, roll Does that sound okay, Nomu? Oh, Isundra can do it because she's Terrible. a widow. What'd you get? A nine. A survival. Oh, wait, I got, oh, yeah. Oh, Will it be survival or nature? Survival. Okay. Isundra can do it, too. Yeah, nature's more like animals and stuff. Oh, no, animals are tone. More rules for survival as well. Wait, Edgar doesn't know nothing about the woods. Fourteen. 
<laughs> Damn, Eddie Art, Eddie Art knows about the woods. Well, I got a, like, 23. Yeah. Okay. You know the most about the woods. <laughs> you are what else? It seems I can't find any tracks. So what do I know? Ew. All right, so Ooh. you guys... So what do I know? <laughs> I love it. So She's you guys... Tell me. Move, begin to move northwards towards what, the... What did I learn by I, I, I will. Okay, I'll show you okay, in, okay. in, in a minute. You guys begin to head north a little bit where the orcs came from. You're trying to find their tracks and see if there's any footprints in the dirt, in the grass, or if you can see any snap twigs or anything. With all of you guys' skills combined, you're able to With find combined. several orcish footprints that were coming directly south. You don't know exactly, you know, where it leads, but you can see that there's a bunch of them, which you guys fought a whole coming group north. of them coming south from the north. Okay, that makes sense. So sense. your assumption would be if you go strict, directly north following the tracks, you're going to end up in whatever camp they came from. That's what your assumption is. So you, if you're trying to get near the camp, but not in the general vicinity of it you probably want to go a little to the left or right <laughs> so you guys i think that like they're coming from this way but we should get close to the encampment and then go a little bit off the path right yeah like sleep next to danger but like not quite well, we don't be that close i just mean like well, yeah i just want to be close. like in a comfortable distance when i'm up and ready to fight it just means we sleep with no fire yeah that's fine. We don't need a fire. At the are you going to be able to sleep without the fire? I'll have a coat. Tie him up. Period. Don't forget, you told Ediar you would make him new tent. I didn't say that. I am not making Ediar new tent. tent is chains. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I could put some leaves on top of it. I don't need that being to make a structurally sound tent. I don't care where Ediar sleeps. I don't care if he sleeps. I don't care if he leaves. He bit me and I don't like it. A tent of chains. No, Moo, you naughty. But. <laughs> don't start with me. <laughs> I'm Ro just joking. Rogar, what does it mean? He just jangles his chains. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know. Maybe Why? like a bit of 50 shades, you know? <laughs> How to train your dragon. <laughs> How to train your werewolf. <laughs> well, I'm just joking. But Damien, you did say you would attempt to repair his tent. I said that? You did. When last, did she say that? Last, right. last night. Do you have a transcript? I do. <laughs> Episode 16 of Taverns and Caverns. What's, what is the timestamp? I don't know. You're about to find it, bitch. Stop. <laughs> taverns and caverns. <laughs> we came from a tavern. Right. Is there a cavern near here? It's a good know. place to sleep. All right, guys. All right, guys. We need to get going. Let's go. That's I'm afraid game. of staying around here. <laughs> okay, we can set up camp like off to this side. But no more. I think it's a good idea if you make lots of traps. Yeah, I'm making that. And tie up Ediar. Uh, far away from me. I want to sleep far away from Ediar. So how long do you... Tie him to the tree. How long are you guys wanting to rest for? Because you guys left your Just like a little encampment bit. at 5 a.m. I just think that after everything we did, we all need to just relax. Yeah, like two, three. Like so take if, a Xanax and chill out. If you're going to do a out. short rest, if you go try for a short rest, that's about four to five hours. What do you mean try? Is that what you guys are doing? You said try. I caught that too. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Damn. Do you want to do a short that rest? That's going to be about that four hours. Work? I'm just going to cat nap, man. <laughs> Get a couple hours. And you can't just take like a nap. Like a you can take a short rest. A short now, short it's going to be half your HP and half your spells back. Yep. I'm fine that's with fine that. fine by me. Okay, so you guys veer off east or west of the. Okay, tracks. well we're going. If you're heading north. Do you go? Are you gonna go east or west? Well, what does Isundra see? Should she go east or west? She rolled a pretty high survival, so why don't you tell me, <laughs> and I'll tell them. She sees <laughs> mostly thick trees covered in thorns all around, with very minimal areas to swerve in and Can out of the around moon? the trees. No, Ryan. No. Thorn cellar, the promised place to be sleeping. Thorns? I want to sleep in the middle of the thorn bush. <laughs> Praise won't go there. But you would assume going east would probably be a little better. The trees aren't as thick in that direction. Don't we want thick trees? Well, that's, that's up to you. Right? Oh, uh, that's up to y'all. Either way, I'm setting traps. 
What side? Oh, y'all don't want. Oh, maybe we need East for Eddie R to get through with all, all right, his armor. So the traps are gonna suck. Oh, no move. But, uh, they're up. <laughs> What'd wherever, you roll? Wherever we go. All right. Uh, I rolled a seven. Okay. It's kind of flimsy. Yeah. It's five. Is the sun out? I don't trust that ER. Now, by the time you guys <laughs> travel northwards a little bit and then veer off to the side, it's probably been about an hour and a half. So it's like six o'clock. Or yeah. So I mean, it's bright unless they have daylight. Savings. The sun's the sun is slowly beginning to come up, but again, the canopy We're up still above tying. is still oh, he's getting tired. the oh, canopy he's above refused. is still pretty thick, so you don't get you don't much get to sunlight. refuse after biting someone. <laughs> He's like the coronavirus, it's spreading. <laughs> I just want to lay down. I don't care which way at this point. Okay, but we don't light fire. We don't need it anyway. The sun yeah. is already up. Isundra's going to sit down next to a tree towards the east, I guess. So if you're going to do a short rest then, yep. so go ahead and get half your HP back, half your spells. Mm. Since that is the general rule, rule that we have decided to go with on, on this. Yeah, so if your if your current spells That's not my health. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a roll. Ew, for what? You'll see. That's what he said. All Time, right. dude. He's shady like that. Alright. What'd you roll for, Ryan? Make me <laughs> everyone make some perception. No, actually no, 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 no. What's your passive? Your passive. Um your passive perceptions. What does that mean? Uh, it's the very bottom of your skills. I don't have anything really. I didn't Me write either. anything either. It should just be your modifier. For yeah. For your wisdom? Perception? Yeah. Oh. Four? Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, it's just, well, it's, just your, it's just your... It's just your wisdom. It's your, your wisdom. Two, uh, four. I'm here for a good time now. Okay. Probably. What's your modifier? Zero! I ain't playing with y'all. You ain't mm -hmm. wise. I'm here for a good time, not a long one. What's your intelligence? I don't tell my kid what to be when they grow up. I tell them what not to do now. <laughs> so, don't so, be like me. So right, yeah, I'm so you're, you know, it's your uh, passive perception is going to be 10 plus your wisdom modifier. Okay. And 12. 14. So what was everyone's? I'm sorry. 14. It's 12. Okay. She has zero, so it's 10. <laughs> That means out hard. Yeah, what you hear when you drunk? Uh, other 16. than your next shot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sliding down the floor. You have the two from the thing. I don't need that shit. Okay. That's what it was, yeah. Okay. So as you guys, I'm assuming everyone's just sitting down trying to get some bit of Shaddai. Rogar is sitting down. He's going to stay awake and kind of keep watch. Elroy's doing the same. He can't go back to sleep after the night you all just had. I'm just resting up in the tree. Okay. Oh, he couldn't go to Eddie sleep. Eddie R, you, you hear something in the distance. Since you, your pass was 16, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you met my roll. Eddie R, you can hear some mumbling off north of your current location. You can't really hear the exact words, but you do hear what sounds like deep-voiced men talking with one another. Does it sound like a certain language? Sounds common. You just it's just so it's so it's far crazy. away and muffled you can't really hear it. I feel like I'm hearing someone off in the distance. Someone something. Oh. I'm not particularly sure. Did you just wake us up? Be quiet down there. I know, motherfucker. Rogar looks you heard something. What you hear? Like some people maybe having a conversation. I'm not entirely sure. Rogar is going to look Edyar, if you wake me up again, I swear to God. I know. Everybody knows I was Asundra and her imaginary friend. She does this shit every day. Rogar looks... Shh, I haven't done it in a while, okay? <laughs> hey, listen to me. We don't want to get caught. Hush. <laughs> hush. You aren't even in Katenko yet. Can you tell us the hush? It doesn't matter if I'm in Katenko. Eddie are here. You really should be in Katenko, though. Cause we I might know. Even... It should be Rogar and Ko. <laughs> Anyways, that's the Oh, he just tried to take it from No Moon. No! He's cheating. Eddie are, Eddie are heard some voices. It might be those orcs, so let's be quiet. Was it in Orcish or Common? I don't know. Eddie are heard it. Where was it? There is in Common or Orcish. It's just a very, like, a, a mumble, probably in Common. Thought you were well learned. Damien peeks through his. Do you want to hear it? 
Can you hear no, me? I don't want to hear it. I didn't want to have fucking dog ears until you bit me, and now I have no fucking choice. You don't know that you've been... <laughs> what, that they are spit out? You can't even speak like a human anymore because you are a dog. <laughs> Damien, using his cape as a cover, looks through. Fucking what the look. fuck's going on? All right, just calm down, okay? I Nomu set music. those really, really good traps. We'll be fine. <laughs> Rook- yeah. Really, really good chat. <laughs> Whatever, I'm already awake anyway. Might as well go try to... Should we try to check it out? Well, at this point, you guys have had your short rest. So this yeah. is towards the end of your short rest. So Was that the idea? it's not interrupting, you know, the benefits of your short rest. Yeah, I know. So, so what No, more. go check it out. Oh, boy. I'm just going to roll You're section. sneaky like a cat. Eddie yeah, already... I should roll stealth then. <laughs> yeah, Eddie already you definitely want can. Yeah, I'll roll stealth. You're clanking all the way there. I need something to roll with. <laughs> I have the highest bad, stealth, but still. Though. It's uh, 13. All right, so you're sneakily making your way towards the sound. Eddie R points. It yeah. came How, from like, the north direction. How far do you think it's away? Like far? Should we like go with them kind of far? Or? Eddie R was able to hear just muffled sounds. It didn't sound very close, but he heard two voices. So no was like in the bushes, like like yeah. a cat skulking like Scooby Doo. Yeah. All right, so you're sneaking around like Velma. Thirteen. I'm gonna try this stuff. Okay, you gonna go with him? Oh no. Oh. Eighteen for one. Oh, I, yeah. dis- I have disadvantage. Oh yeah, because he has armor. Oh. Nineteen. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Fucking. It's dog. the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So, so a sneaker treat. So Eddie R starts sneaking <laughs> with uh, plus two. So be. Okay, Eddie R starts sneaking with Nomu as you head a little north towards the voices, and as you guys are peeking through the trees and looking around in the bushes, you guys see two orc two in orcs. leather. Yeah, two orcs in leather armor. They're talking to one another. One's like scratching his head. The other one's. Looking at the other, making fun of them. Would you say they're like leather daddies? What? <laughs> what? Wasn't expecting that. No. So the one scratching his head looks at looks at the uh, the other orc. One has He's long, like shaggy hair. The other one's completely bald, but they're both wearing leather armor. Both of them have great axes strapped to their backs. And the one looks over at the long-haired one, the long, shaggy hair. The bald one speaks up. Ugh. When do you think the other's gonna get back? It's been a while. Oh shit, they look up. And the shaggy haired one was, I don't know. Maybe they found some things to play with. I don't know, I don't care. Things to play with. <laughs> the other one speaks up. Well, you think boss is gonna be mad if they're late? I mean, shouldn't we be worried about this? And the other orc goes, Ah, uh, I guess. That's up to the boss. Let's just get going. Let's finish this patrol. I gotta take a shit. Whatever, man. Is it sucky? And the two continue walking back northwards. But you can see that they're both full orcs, leather armor, and strapped. But you hear that conversation, and they do not hear or see you guys. And then, I just imagine, like, Nomu's, like, little cat head, like, and then Eddie R's fucking whole shield in, like, <laughs> armor. Just a power shield, just... <laughs> Out of the bush. <laughs> They're over there. Right. Oh, but they, I can't see them. They do not notice the He's two quiet as fuck with all the chain mail and shit. Yeah, they don't notice you guys so whatsoever. Alright, so we know what direction they're going. No yeah. gear solid him. No we'll get him. You want me to snap his neck? Yeah. Damn. Why not? No one don't do that. No, he's a law abiding citizen. So what what does no one Eddie Yard do? No one's gonna warn the others. Then Batman him, dog. Go back, you go back and warn, okay. Yep. All right, so as you guys return, Rogar looks at the two. What did you two see? Oh my god, Nomi, I, Nomi are. That's now your guys' Nomi are. It's your guys' celebrity, like, no more. name. <laughs> oh my god, Nomi are. I second. didn't even hear you. So what did you two see? What were they? Were they other orcs? A couple orcs who are still on patrol, wondering if the rest of their group, presumably the ones we defeated, were being too late. They didn't particularly care. They just want to go finish their patrol and go oh, do all of their business. Terrible. Did you homies. break their neck? No. We didn't want to have them make any noise and alert anyone that might be even further up. They were heading further north. You guys are no fun. North. So Elroy looks at the two of you. Oh, so their camp has to be pretty close. 
So what do you guys think? Should we follow them, maybe? Of course. Jump them? Yes. Before they get... Or should we just follow them back to the camp and then... If we, no, because if we take them out before they get back, it's less people we have to fight at the same time. Right? I mean, that's true. But no one's non-violent. Y'all have to do that. No. You, you you're fucking, violent. You don't yeah, kill. Non-violent. You fucking, like, wrestle people every time you see them. Non-violent my ass. Wrestling is a savory sport. Well, you still the name Steve of the game is Operation up. Kitty Shield. Since you don't want to fight, you're going to stop us from getting arrows stuck in us and axes and shit. Kitty you Shield? You want to be a bitch. Kitty Shield. Oh, <laughs> Kitty Shield and Co. <laughs> so you guys are going to all sneak then? Try and sneak them? Or are you guys only sending Nomu and Eddie or what? Because if you guys all go, you're going to have to make me some more we gotta send sneak, sneak checks. Person. I'm fully rested. Yeah, you gotta backstab right. him. I That's do like have your whole sneak thing. So, uh, uh, so you guys will have to be pretty quick then, because th they're already walking northwards. So if you guys want to catch them, you have to act now. Well, normal will probably like go first and roll more stuff. He can at least find them. We gotta reroll our stuff. If everyone's going, well, yes. We're following uh, him. Unless, yeah. Oh, that's better. All right. Oh, yeah. Twenty-two. Kid, Twenty-two. Oh, that's thirteen. Twenty-two. <laughs> Okay. This is the worst yeah. muscle thirsty. Yeah. So no one got too bad. Nope. All right. So, oh, wait. Your perception. Oh. No. Hey, Probably Rogar fire. and. We roll fire. Magma. Rogar's okay. rolling up loud as shit. Yeah, he needs to stay here. Okay. Stay. No, All actually, right. we need him. He's been doing work. He does no. do work. So, Rogar and Elroy, they're going to be right like behind MVP the group and they're slowly me. sneaking. Rogar's like, ugh. My muscle's too big. <laughs> I might accidentally break bronze. Elroy, help it's like, me. <laughs> Shh, Rogar. Hush. You don't want to warn them. Your muscles are going to break. Fuck up. I know, You're Elroy. Good being my muscle stealthy. is just so big. Every time I move, I hit the tree and it snaps. Shut up, Rogar. I know you're strong. But we got to keep going. Shh. What's going on back there? Nothing. No move. My muscles are just so big. Who's in the front? Yeah. So who? What's the order? Me. Okay. So Damien. Right behind Damien. All right. No moves right behind, and then Eddie are, and oh, then Isidro. Rogar and Elroy are sticking in I'm, the back. So as you guys are walking, <laughs> as you guys are walking, trying to sneak them, the two of them have stopped again. They're on this beaten path. They're not necessarily on a main path or anything like that. You can't tell. If they're on a road or anything, it's it's still pretty off the beaten path. The two stop again, and one leans over and starts tying his shoes. He goes, oh, damn, we need new shoes. Boss needs to get us some new boots. I'm tired of these things, man. And the other orc looks at him. I know. Maybe we'll get more money this time from the Skull Reaver guy. You got disguises. Are orcs usually bad in this well, you need to Disguises of those orcs that we just defeated. Ew. Orcs can be good, they can be bad, just depends. Wait, what? They're so ugly. Have her disguise one of the orcs. Oh, can you that do that? Defeat. Can you change race by, or like change, <laughs> can you change race? I, I am the master. Please yeah. stop appropriating <laughs> orc culture. <laughs> okay, you could have just stayed in camp. That's how you was gonna be. You already know I'm not shit. Alright. Find out some information. Okay. So I can mimic speech of people and animals. Where they consider people or animals? Orcs are people. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> can mimic speech of people or animals? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like there's something more. I like say more than just basic. No, you can. As long as you have heard the target for a minute or more. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So, I mean, you're all, they don't hear you guys sneaking on them. So, all of you made your checks. But what are you doing? Are you going to try and sneak attack them? He or are you going to try and knock them out? He wanted me to disguise myself as an orc. To try to go to, to be a Alright, so you're gonna have to make me a, a skill check. A skill check, real quick. For Damien. So, Damien, go ahead and make me a deception check. 20. Okay. So, are you just gonna walk up to them? What are you doing? I'm gonna kind of walk up limping like I was in a fight. So, so. You can't make us look like no bitches. So, so, uh, describe how you're trying to deceive them with your. your looks, or did you try and disguise yourself as an orc, or. Well, what? yeah, I'm wearing what they're wearing. Um, the boots are a little better, but <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> Y'all didn't start here when they were giving us good uniforms. So, you know, um, I'll just say I stole them from us. So you look like Shrek right now. Like, what's going on? You're just like green and shit? Yeah, I took my wig off. It's not hard, really. Put like a use, your, use your disguise kit? Correct. Do you have a top knot? Some fake tusk? No. Your skies can close with everything you need. They don't all look exactly the same. Okay? I was describing Brock's arc, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk up to them, looking as much of a yeah. orc as your tools that you had right. on you can allow you to. Yeah, look. and I have like fake kind of like blood coming down my arm. I'm holding my arm as if I've been in a fight. And at the same time, okay. we can set up an ambush just in case it goes wrong. Correct. So at this point then, we're going to start with Damon. We'll, uh, let's just go ahead and roll initiative for now. Just to, just oh, to Tim might as well. <laughs> That's it. <gasps> well, I don't care about a one. It's fair that well, they're wrong this energy yes. goes last. That their friend goes last. Well, plus Man, whatever you're... I need to actually find something to roll on. Oh, uh, yeah. Six. All right. All right, Julian. Well, Fifteen. It's a four. Thirteen. NPCs got a nineteen. So the order is NPCs, and then enemies, then Ediar, Isundra, Nomu, and then Damien. But because you guys have the advantage here because you're sneaking yeah, them, okay. you guys have a whole round to, go to do what you need to do before mm -hmm. anything happens. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start with Damon since you're the one that's... Infiltrating. Yeah, going up there. So what do you do? You just, you're just you limping up towards them? I turn around to the group. He cheeses and does a thumb up. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Well, wherever they are. Yeah, you don't need the map for now. Oh, guys. Oh, who's there? Who, what? Oh. It, it's me. It's me. I made it back. The orc looks at you. Who are you? It's like that. I don't know who you are. It's like that. What's your name? So I should be asking you that. All You're orcs like know each other now? Hold on. Let me roll persuasion. I don't know, they may be near. I don't want to give away too much personal information. Uh, I wrote an H. <laughs> well, it's this is part of your deception, so. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though you wrote so high? Well, we're going to get to that here in a oh. minute. Okay. So, I so thought this fight was on to me. Bitch, <laughs> 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 I wrote too high to be falling for this. No, they may be close. Uh, hurry. We Why are you me. hurt? What happened to you? They ambushed me. There's some, some outsiders. Uh, they ambush you, outsiders. Yeah. You What's your name heard? again? Why do you keep... Just, just listen to me. Just give him a name. The, the bald orc... The, the one talking to me was the one with the shaggy hair. The, the bald orc... Look, finished tying his shoe. He, looks, he gets up and looks back over at you. I've never seen you around here. Wait a minute. <sighs> Where are your tusks? Say There's a wild stupid. wolf in their pack. He ripped them off. 5 a.m. I ain't gonna make this up. A oh, wolf ripped them off. What? 5 a.m. Wolf ripped off. <laughs> Who are you? What are you talking about? Okay, fuck. The I'm not one of you exactly, but... You're not one of us. They wait, both wait, begin to reach wait, for the great. Said, wait, wait, they, both, wait. they both begin to reach for the great axes, wait, and it? they both unsheathe their great axes. And the ball one goes, "We're not dumb." What? No. You're not a real orc. I am. I'm just from a different family. You're not a real orc. I can tell. Anyone's just gonna go ahead and use. At this point, the jig is up. The jig, the the jig, jig is so up. up. Yeah, he's the, the long haired one goes, "You're coming with us." All right. The jig is up, man. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna go peacefully. Damien uh, ducks down on his knees, puts his hands behind his head. Yeah, I'm using, I'm casting a spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a bonus action. I'm trying to give him an opening. Uh, basically, I just summon a weapon. I have an image appear, something regarding to my deity, so I was gonna say it's like a weapon with a sun crest on it. Okay. A sword. Uh, I drop it basically on them. I can drop it up to 60 feet when I first cast it. And okay. then the weapon makes a, a melee spell hit itself, and I can move it with a uh, bonus action on each of my turns. Okay. So it'll be... 
Are you attacking the wavy haired one or the bald? Uh, the bald one. Oh. Alright. Plus six. Alright, so go ahead and roll. So, uh, 12. Okay, that'll hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, it'll be. What was it? One just, plus one spell casting build amount of fire. Okay. So. Don't pay attention to the map, just. Yep. Pretend nothing's there. Uh, so, four plus. Six. Okay, so ten. So the bald orc takes ten damage. This spiritual weapon just forms and comes slashing into his backside, I'm assuming. Yep. And he just yells out, Ah! And the <laughs> long-haired orc goes, What the heck is going on? He's looking around. So... What? That's the bonus action. Yeah, so you still, have, you still have your main action. So as an action, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on that same orc. Damn! Cantrip. Uh, he makes a deck saving throw. I have a 21. Uh, you passed my spell save. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. So with Ediar then is Isundra if she wants to go next. So you just went all in, right? He just attacked the orc. The orc got slashed in the back. They're both on. I mean, you know, yeah, so I'm about to go in. They're on edge now. I'm gonna roll up on to just do Eldritch Blast like every other warlock. Basic. Or. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only two of these dudes, so I don't really wanna waste a spell slot on them, so. Yeah. I think my warlock never uses Eldritch Blast. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, because I have fire. But... Wait, what am I rolling for? To hit. <laughs> what did you get? 15. 15 will hit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's 16. That still hits. <laughs> yeah. So do your damage. Are you tagging the bald one that just got slashed in the back or the long-haired, shaggy-haired one? Fuck the bald one. Damn! What's wrong mm. with the bald one? I don't know. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> All right, so do your damage. Well, three plus my charisma modifier, which is five. It's five damage? E well, no. Um, eight. How do you kill him if you are trying to kill him? Put an axe, kill him! <laughs> Shoot him! I mean, you know. I'm so. on two knees, acting submissive. Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> okay, god damn. That's about to lay me where I stood, and I said I was they blood. You think they care about us? Okay. This is the time. Okay, I'm killing him, damn! Why am I getting yelled at? So I'm just making sure. You know how Numo and Eddie are be backing up. I mean, it, but the the spell bursts out of her hand, and it's like a little skull face, and it's like, Wah! and it goes into him, and he just like, hey, well, he can't explode, right? <laughs> I mean, if you want him to. I don't want to like, explode. I just want it to like go into his head, and like maybe his eyes melt out. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> he ain't going to be that harsh, man. Right. <laughs> what? He was going to hurt her. She wanted me to kill kill him. Damien jumps up him. in your fucking face. The bald orc He's drops to his knees demon. and he falls over dead. Nomu? Nomu uses his uh, feline agility. He just appears in front in front of the, the one that's still alive. Long haired one? How do you feel one? about yep. us, Nomu? The one with the axe up, take him off. Yep. And he's yeah. taking his green sword and he's going to slash at him. All right. The orc looks over at Nomu. Ah! I look like a blur to this guy. No, you oh, don't. That's terrible. <laughs> My lord. That is not hit. Nine. Really yeah. That's not going to hit. No. He comes. No, I'm comes a blur, but nothing happens. And the, <laughs> the great or the orc sidesteps really quick and looks down. No, move. Uh, it's an ambush. I got to get out of here. Has he turned away to run? He's, <laughs> he's going to because oh, he no. knows he can't win this. But it's your turn. She wants to know if his back is. I would like for him to turn around. <laughs> Stab him in the butt. Now's my chance. <laughs> I'm weak. That's how it feels, bro. So as the orc sees no one dodges him, he turns his foot he's as like, if oh, he's no. about to start running off to warn his friends. Fuck your friends. Not so fast. Damien somehow has a wig on. No one saw this. But my wig so is So you want to be Desiree? Yeah. I'm still the wrong color. <laughs> You're green Desiree? It was a flash change. <laughs> so, I'm going for what? Sneak attack, yes. Um. That doesn't sound like you're hitting anything. That sounds like you missing. Right but wait, hold on. Butt. Right by the hair on his butt. Plus. 
Yeah, you know, it's still not hit. What'd you get? Eight. And that's not gonna hit. You have your offhand attack though. This is true. Dagger is good. Hit for that too. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. That one hit. Yeah. 18. That will definitely hit. So go ahead and do your. If you want to attack with your dagger, that's up to you. Well, why not? <laughs> you can still apply sneak attack. Oh, so I can still use both. Weapons. No, your rapiers, you messed with your rapier. Okay. This is only your oh, dagger. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like, that's yeah. too good to be true. Yeah. 24 plus 3. So, 6 plus 3, 9. 9 damage. So, you take your dagger and you stab him in the leg to try and stop him from running away faster. And he screams out, and playing, ah! And as he, he begins to limp away, and the NPC's row guard, Elroy takes his light crossbow. <laughs> Got him. Where are you going? And he's like holding his crosshairs up. And he shoots his cross. Rolled an 18. Yeah. Elroy shoots a bolt for 1d6 plus 2. Got a 1 plus 3 for 3 damage. Elroy aims, shoots him in the other leg. The bolt smashes up or pierces the orc's calf muscle. And he drops onto his hands and knees. He's like, ah! And Rogar just Oh, my turn. And Rogar starts quickly running up forward. And he just decks him in the face. Or he tries to. He actually misses. Rogar actually misses. The orc dodges his punch. And the orc takes his great axe. And he swings once up at Rogar. And he hits. Four... 1d12 for 5 damage and he gets up and he begins to run off again even though he's in pain from his legs but Rogar gets an attack of opportunity and he misses again Whoa. he should have yeah, slept that short rest he should have, he boy should have. so Nomu you were still next to him as well. Mm -hmm. So you get an attack of opportunity as a reaction if you choose, and so does oh, uh, Damien. Oh, shit. God damn it. I need something to roll on there. What'd you roll? It don't help. Something bad. Nine. That, yeah, that will miss. Damien, you have an attack of opportunity as well. Oh. Five. That will miss as well. Damn this motherfucker. So Slippery. The, so the orc, he's... <laughs> He's he's beginning to run off, he's but he's only able to move about thirty feet, so he's not too much further. But he he's sweating. He's got a bolt stuck in his calf. He's he's limping. He's running. He's trying to do his best to get away. It is now Eddiear. Maybe he's meant to be alive, guys. Stop, fool! Eddiear goes and casts guiding bolt. <laughs> Stop in the house. Uh, eight oh, plus weak. six. 8 14. plus 6. 14 will hit. Okay. Uh, be 4d6 radiant damage, and the next attack will have advantage, which will also be me with my spirit sword. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, stop, fool. Stop, fool. Stop, fool. Mm -hmm. uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Do you kill him, or do you knock him out? I just knock him out. Okay. <clears throat> the bolt hits him in the back. Can't relate. Burns him a little bit, and he falls unconscious. Okay, so the orb drops to the ground, unable to warn his allies. What do you guys do at this point? Dragon bag. <laughs> should I leg. stop murdering people, like killing yeah, people? Yeah, you probably should. But you I mean, they're bad. Are they? I mean, we have every right to believe they're bad. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. They are just. <laughs> I'm a dragon bag, and I'm a tiny. Mother. Isundra's having an identity crisis. <laughs> Do we really need to Alright, so you drag, yeah, you drag him back and you tie him up. Yep. Do you wake him up? Yeah, I'm gonna hit him in the stomach. Alright. <gasps> the orc. Oh, oh, what do you want with me? Ah. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> what do you want? We want answers. Where's your gap and who's your boss? Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna start rolling some intimidation. Yeah, rolling intimidation. He doesn't want to speak. Him with your fucking I'm wig and green skin. <laughs> <laughs> right, just, um, I'm the whole bitch. Answer it. Uh, wait. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. 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 Fifte
No. Yep. Take that back. It's a nine. Oh. Nineteen. Shit. Move, cat. Oh. No. All right. I'll oh. handle this. Oh, so everyone's able 20. to everyone's able to help intimidate them <laughs> with everyone's combined <laughs> skills. We're all hovering over them. It's just an eclipse. Yep. So so the the orc looks up at the three of you. Uh, my camp's just ten minutes north of here. Good. Now your boss. Uh, his name is Murag. He's the war chief there in camp. Murag. You guys do. You guys should get out of here. There's no messing with Murag. You all will be sold to the Skull Reaver or worse. Stuck on pikes if you're lucky. How big is his army? The Skull Reaver. You're not supposed to talk about him. I don't know. That's what they call him. Why are people being sold? To this, this school reaver, you say? I don't know. We don't care. We just take travelers and people and sell them for money. You I don't care. It's your job. I get it. It's, no, it's not his job. Ah, sure it is. We no, get... he's just taking people from their home. No, you have to care. <laughs> you don't want to kill anyone. And yet when he takes people from their home and their jobs and their family and their whole lives. It's his job. It's not his job. No, he it has a moral good. obligation. It ain't a good job. <laughs> He's pro-life. We got to stop him. He wants people to live. You just don't care what happened to him. He has a choice, Nomu, and he's a bad man. That's why the other one got his eyeballs burnt out. This is what I'm talking about. Now, when I walk away, one of my partners are probably going to kill you. So you got to start giving us some answers. I am giving Sir, you answers. why do you think it's okay to just take people from their homes? I don't. He doesn't think it's okay. He's just doing what he got to delay. No, he could just leave. He's got to get money somehow, some way. There are honest jobs that he can work, okay? Why are you trying to defend a bad man? Yeah, you can work an honest job like us. <laughs> it is not always easy for people to get an honest job. I understand that, but yeah, this, isn't like, this isn't like selling, like, you know, the plant that people smoke. It's taking people from their home. Their autonomy oh, the is plant being... plant that people smoke. Oh, yes. there, there's a social contract and they need to follow it. You can't just take people from their home. Maybe the social contract for orcs is you stick with your No, this is not <laughs> anthropology class. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> if I may chime in, <laughs> you know, they're selling people for gold in some country that is doable, but here in London, that is not part of law. That is against law. It's, you know, there's a country who did that, who takes people and then sells them. It's called America. It's not okay. Hey. Other countries did that, not just America. Yeah, I know. Edgar, oh my God, you're missing the point. It's bad there too. <laughs> oh so, my goodness. Now what we're... shall we do with them? Make them watch Roots. <laughs> Damn. Chain them to a tree. I'll act it all out myself. <laughs> Chain them to <laughs> a tree. Guy and get... <laughs> Sit down and watch this movie. You need to understand. I'm joking. All right, let's kill this dude. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. I, you told me to give you the answers. I'm giving you answers. We didn't say that that would spare your life. I said, listen. Who are you telling Look, me to listen? The tribe. <laughs> the, you better come up with some good information. The tribe is on tough times. The, oh, don't give me a sob story. Go ahead. Beg for money like a normal poor person. Look at this dude's stomach. He's the, well fed. Tough the times. The school bad. man. Threatens us if we don't do a job. He threatened us first. That's old news. We've he threatened there. us and we didn't take anyone from their fucking home. Uh, I mean, if he would have threatened you to take someone from their home or else you die, what would be the choice you would make? I would have found nah. out if it's a bad man. I'm not going to just fuck over like a little kid or a whole family. Are you serious right now? I'm just asking you what your What does your character is. sheet say? Lawful good? It says Yes, good. I would fight, but I don't trust that you would fight. Chaotic good! <laughs> Good! <laughs> Chaotic. Chaotic, I do kill hey, for the hey. right reason, Ediar. Okay? I answered your question, sir. Look, if you're going to try and attack the camp, I'm going to advise you that's a bad idea. Unless you want to die. Are there traps? No, not that I know of. They I will can, lay traps. But there's a lot of orcs. A lot of my men. How, How many? your army? I roughly. don't know. Ballpark. How many? How high can you count? 50, 100. Uh, there's probably about 50 of us total. But not they're not every... You know, I know, they're not all in the camp, though, at the same time. What we send they? groups out to get people. Okay, well, how many are gone right now? <laughs> well, I don't know. 
Well, there's the ones we kill. How many of my friends you kill? Shut your ass up. I was your friend. And you said you didn't recognize me. Because you're not a real orc. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> I'm a real something. Let's <laughs> get heated. <laughs> no one looks at his companions. Nobody's like, what the fuck? One at a time and just starts walking away. <laughs> you guys deal with them. You're away. What do you have look, the information? Look, if you let me live, I'll tell you. Ways to get in the camp, if that's what you really want. He turns back around. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. This sounds like some good information you could provide to us. Damn. Come on. Begin speaking. All right, well, you heard my warning. Murag is the chief then there. He's the war chief. He's stronger than all of us. But the real one you want to be careful of is the two-headed ogre. The, the what now? The Etten. Do you have an Etten? Yes, he works for Murag. He listens to you? He doesn't. He listens to Murag. Not Why me. does he listen to Murag? Because Murag is strong and he's the war chief. But do we have a Rogar. He's strong. Oh, I know. <laughs> is he? He just missed like every attack. Yeah, but when he hits, it's like really strong. I only missed because I was trying to punch him and knock him out. Rogar's so used to killing with sword. Not very used to punches. So when I punch, I held back a little bit. Yeah, they are because he's chaotic good. He likes to swing the sword and kill the bad guys. You shouldn't kill even if there's bad guys. You kill people all the time, NDR. I kill them in the name of my god when they go against my god. What there's a slight like? difference. My god. <laughs> this is so <laughs> god is real. It doesn't matter. Look. Just murdering people. The Aten is probably the most worrisome thing other than Murag. All of us have to do our part. Do you think Murag is stronger than the Aten? He is not stronger physically, but he is smarter. Etans are not very smart. So you're saying you're not smarter than the Etan that doesn't listen no, to you? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Sounds like what you're saying. But you can outsmart an Etan because the Etan's always arguing with itself because it has two heads. It but it like is a group. very <laughs> strong beast. Have you? Do you not know what an ogre is? Yeah, I know what the, I know what we're talking about, idiot. We're coming to kill it. <laughs> You're fools. I would leave now. You're a fool for being in this camp and stealing people and being a dick. So how exactly do we sneak into this camp? There's two ways to get in. Go on. The main entrance, which is directly ahead of us. Ten minutes. Probably not a great way to get in. That's, no, the, right that's the direct entrance, and you'll see very uh, slight road leading into it. You probably shouldn't go that way. There's, there's uh, wooden walls all around the encampment. Give me the Elton John way, the back door. Elton John way? I wasn't ready. <laughs> hey, I've been summoning that one for years. <laughs> Let me have it. Well, there's always at least two guards keeping post. One in the front gate and one in the back. And they're on top of the wooden walls that's around the entire camp. Those are the only two ways in. Is there like a The sewer back thing? gate is less... I would say watched over the main gate. The back gate is only used for emergency leave and other things like having to leave the camp to take a shit and stuff. Why, thank you. Now, I'm sure you know what comes next. We reached a predicament. We can't exactly let you go. You know this, right? Tie him to a tree and leave him there. Why can't you let me go? I'm telling you everything because you Because you go to the camp and tell them we are coming. We're not stupid. I'm not stupid to do that. I want to live. He's definitely that stupid. I'm just going to gag him and tie him to a tree. Can't make a noise. Can't move away. All right. But eventually, they'll find him. Someone will find him. We should be done with this Etten and Morag business before then. I'm just saying. I don't see how, like... Our morality can fade a little bit so we can kill his friend, but we got to spare him. I can eat him. I'm an equal, equal opportunity uh, You can eat him? Murderer. I can eat him. Excuse me? You had a kobold. I don't see the issue here. Orcs are humanoids. You do not eat orcs. It's, it's not So you ain't going to kill him, but you're going to eat him? Hey, I'm running out of ideas. I gag him tied to a tree. That's my idea. No, man. It's over. No, no man. That's Do not evil. kill him. He's just 
living his life. Okay, so tie him to a tree and we leave him here. And People we, we go. took out of their homes were living their lives. That's very true. What if they broke into the house of Dasone and started running wild? What no would one would ever do? break into the house of Dasone. You're never there to protect your family. You can't speak on There's nothing there. in there to steal. Hey, uh, what? That's not what I heard. Let me find out. They went broke. Yeah, you remember the guard said they have no money. So I'm tying oh, him to a tree. Oh, that's right. You wanted to make up those lies. I would take that if I was you. Now I'm tying him to a tree, and then I shove a bottle of acid in his mouth. Oh, a oh, bottle of acid as a, as a gag. That's a waste. That's not. Face. You could have used like a piece of clothing. What do you mean? Rogo looks at you. Try to run. Oh, that's like an evil no thing. No, he this said is... no I don't. I'm not particularly sure. I trust this party. I take the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe off the saliva. No, or he's new to this. Rogar is gonna lean down. He reaches into his backpack and he just puts a cool. sack of cloth in he's his. He's new mouth. to this. He thought it was a good idea. It's a bottle. All right, let's go. So the guy said there's two entrances. We should go to the back side, but there's still man on top of wall doing searching. So we need to be careful. Is there anything else we should ask him before we go? No. So where specifically on the Excuse base me, where we look for the chief? Does he have a specific area where he resides or is he just kind of walking around rogar takes the cloth out of the orc's mouth again and slaps him answer the question he morale he's always he's always in his tent he doesn't really leave it very often his tent's in the towards the main entrance of the of the camp can't miss it's like the biggest one I figured. In the back side, though, there's going to be several tents. A lot of people we kidnapped. In the back tents. They're all held there. There's one guy that's always keeping watch at the back door, though. He's on the wall, so you'll have to be careful. If he spots you, he'll warn the others. Thank you. Gag him. Rogar <laughs> gags him back up. Okay, so we can go straight for the chief, and then they'll have no one to take orders from. Or we can just kill that nobody in the back, let all the civilians run out so they're not in the way of our battle. Sounds good to me. Take away the steaks. But no, then all the little ones will jump us, and the boss will have us for dinner. We'll, he'll be fresh. Well, we have to be careful. They're still Etten. But that is what we need for guild quest, right? Etten. I... Maybe this is the same Etten that they quest was or the guild was talking about on the outskirts of the Greythorn Forest. This is very close. It's probably same Etten. Is anyone against splitting up? Wow. Hitting both doors at once? You want to split up? Well, we're still going in the same place. I'll that is later. very true, but we have to be very careful. If Murag is strong... Yeah, we'll send you to the front and Eddie are, and we'll jump the guy in the back. What about the Etten? Well, we don't know where his tent is. He's probably not in tent. Anton is probably sleeping outside, rubbing belly. Arguing with itself. Two heads. He's to the wall and just scout down, see where he's at. If we can see anything. Well, I don't mind trying to split up if you want. You can be like Liquid Snake. I'll be solid. Mm. Okay. You know? I don't know. It's like Metal Gear Solid. I, said I, don't know. I read it once. It is a very interesting story. So what do you say? Should we split up? Or should we all go from the back? I don't know you like it from the back, but wait. We need you in the front. Missionary is super what important do you mean right now. I like it and in we back. Need, I don't nothing. I was just I was Is that really what you want? I just feel you'd be a better use in the front. So you want me to storm front gate? Yeah. I mean, knocking doesn't seem appropriate at this point. Who's coming with me then? I'm going towards the least guarded. <laughs> the back? I, I just feel like ADR has such strong defense. I can't take 
and hit. Or if you want somebody like, with mage hit. armor. I mean, I as, can, as soon as you can go with them, she can do distance. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I can't particularly be sneaky all the time, so I'll probably go with him. Okay. So Eliar has my back. I feel like we need more people in the front than the back. If you're gonna hit that tent. Y'all might well, well, there is six of us, so three and three, maybe. Edior, just set the tent on fire. Fuck it, just... Maybe we can trick them. What are you <laughs> I might have idea. Wait, oh, yeah? Disguise yourself as an orc, too? Something close. He, un he ungags the orc. We use this one. Oh, no. We make him pretend he has us as captive in the oh. front gate. We get in... And while they are distracted with us, you are sneaking back, maybe. Now, what if he goes... I thought about that idea, but I felt like he could just rat us out relatively easily. Yeah, and killing him then wouldn't do much. Just... That is true. He gags him back up. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust him. Well, what do you all think? This is dangerous. He said there's others in there. We don't want to die. Not here. I just want to climb the wall. If we hear a commotion, we'll run to the opposing side and save the day. By the skin on our teeth, like always. Alright, so it's Ediar, Isundra, and I in the front? Sure. No moon, Damien, Elroy in back? Oh, hey, Elroy. For the yes. here. <laughs> he said there were six of us. I'm the sixth one. I'm ride or die, damn it. I'm just, you ain't been wrong. <laughs> Every time. I got my crossbow and I have some bolts. I shoot some calves, you know? Some calves. Maybe a few headshots if I'm lucky. I think it's the best plan we have so far. Let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Those last words. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll mark that on your tombstone. <laughs> and we will go ahead and end this episode of Taverns and Caverns there. Thanks, everyone. Thanks again, everyone, for listening to Taverns and Caverns. We all appreciate the continued support and the love that we have received for the podcast. You can follow us again at Taverns Caverns on Twitter. This is Ryan, the DM, at Haphazard DM. You can also find our players Felicia slash Isundra on Twitter at Dagger Tribal, Bry slash Damien slash Desiree at OMFG underscore I'm Awesome. Julian slash Eddie R at JW Player Zero on Twitter. And unlike the rest of us, unfortunately, Rob slash Nomu does not have a Twitter. And if any of you awesome listeners have a moment, please remember to follow, like, and or comment about Taverns and Caverns to let us know how we're doing. Thank you for listening. Until next time.